Okay, let's talk about the oat kernel itself. A little bit of the physiology. The oat kernel, the primary thing that everyone as a miller or even the feed industry is concerned about is the center meat of that kernel called a groat, G-R-O-A-T. Around that groat are two pieces of a hull. There's the lemma, which is this portion out here, which is kind of like a canoe, and then the palea on the inside. If you look at an oat kernel, you'll see that. Now, it depends upon the variety. Some varieties will have a little hook up here on the top of the lemma. Some of them will have a little more hook on the palea. As a miller, we want to have the minimum amount of hull and the maximum amount of this groat because the hull essentially other than like our fiber mill up in St. Ansgar where we're making oat fiber out of some of the hulls, most of that winds up going to poultry litter, to bedding, uh, particularly up in, in uh, Wisconsin, or it winds up going into the feed industry. It's really just a cellulosic, cellulosic fiber that we can't do much with, okay? The average oat variety out there today is going to have somewhere between 68 to 72 percent groat by weight and about 20 to 25 percent or a little higher hull, okay? Varieties vary in that and as a grower you need to understand that because that can affect your test weight going forward. 